Have you been wanting to get something off your chest, but are too afraid to voice your true feelings for fear of ramifications? Or perhaps you've been told you shouldn't feel a certain way or to get over it. So you suppress your emotions to go along to get along. If so, here's a gentle reminder. Pretending you don't feel a certain way does not eliminate how you feel. In fact, not giving voice to your true feelings only intensifies them and can cause detrimental harm to not only your emotional and mental well-being, but your physical health too. I mean, we're talking sleep issues, sadness, anger, anxiety, depression, to heart issues, diabetes. I mean, the list goes on and on. So the goal of this tapping video today is to help you get whatever you need to say off your chest. So I want you to tell me how you really feel as we tap. And in the process, your body will release the pent up emotions and begin to relax. Once you say the scary words out loud, you've lessened the fear and the power it's held over you. With that, you took the first step in speaking your truth and setting yourself free. And the rest will follow. Whatever it is you need to get off your chest or you've been too afraid to say out loud for fear of being judged or the major life changes it could result in, um, whatever it is, I want you to think about what that is right now. And if you need to pause this video, do so now. Okay, so if you're back and you have what you wanna say on the tip of your tongue, every time I say my truth in the video, I want you to voice whatever it is you've been too afraid to admit out loud. And I'll give you the prompts um, in the video, but my truth, you say whatever it is. All right, so let's start with the side of the hand. Even though I am too afraid to admit the truth, and I have this tightness in my chest, this lump in my throat. I choose to honor how I feel. Even though I feel this tightness in my body and I'm terrified to admit the truth, I choose to forgive myself, forgiving the fear, all of my energy and power. Even though I feel a lump in my throat, and tightness in my body because I have been suppressing my feelings for far too long. I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept how I feel. All right, so we're gonna go to the eyebrow. You can either tap on both sides of your body or one side, so the body is a mirror. Eyebrow, all the sphere, side of the eye. I'm mad and sad and frustrated all the time. Under the eye. I'm told to stop being negative and to get over it. Under the nose. Think positive thoughts instead, they tell me. Chin. I've been afraid to say how I really feel for far too long. And it's affecting me. Collarbone. I've been swallowing my feelings for far too long. And we're going to under the arm. But I'm afraid to admit how I truly feel. You take your wrist. Feel annoyed and sad and not myself. And I feel like screaming and crying. Top of the head. This tightness in my chest in my neck, my shoulders, just thinking about it. Just thinking about what I'm too afraid to say out loud. Eyebrow. But I don't want to feel like crap anymore. Otherwise, I wouldn't be tapping right now. Side of the eye. What if I said the quiet part out loud and admitted the truth? Admitted how I really feel. Under the eye. I can't do that. Under the nose. But why not? Chin. What if others find out? Collarbone. They'll only find out if I tell them. And right now I'm only admitting the truth out loud to myself. So what's the worst that can happen? Under the arm. What if I just say it out loud? Wrists. 
I'm going to say it out loud. My truth. Okay, so admit your truth now. Top of the head. My truth. Eyebrow. My truth. Side of the eye. My truth. Under the eye. I finally said it. I finally admitted how I feel. I'm not going to hide it anymore. At least not to myself. Under the nose. I'm proud of myself. I said something I've been too afraid to admit. But now it's out there. I can't deny it anymore. Chin. That suppressed truth no longer has power over me. I release it. I release it. Collarbone. I said it. And it no longer has power over me. Under the arm. I conquered the fear. When I said it out loud. So I release any residual fear. There's no need for it anymore. Wrists. I release all the fear, all the remaining fear. I let go of all the pressure that was in my body. The tightness in my chest, lump in my throat, tightness in my neck and shoulders. It's all gone. I release it. Top of the head. All that pressure. I release it all. I finally said the quiet part out loud. So I want you to say it again. I said, and it's okay. Eyebrow. And now I welcome in peace and tranquility. Side of the eye. I have taken back my power. Under the eye. I am in control, not the fear. The fear has no power over me, not anymore. Because I finally said what I was too afraid to say out loud. Under the nose. I choose to honor myself for taking this huge step and voicing the quiet part out loud. Chin, that was courageous and it took strength. So good for me. Collarbone. I've taken back my power. Under the arm. Now I choose to be calm and at peace. I am in control. Wrists. I allow in peace and tranquility. I'm no longer afraid because I finally have admitted the truth. And that was the first step. Okay. Okay. Top of head. I want you to say your truth again. So I. And that's okay. Okay. Press down for me. Taking a deep breath. I want you to hold that breath for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five, and release. Okay. Good job. I'm, I'm proud of you and you should be proud of yourself too. That was very courageous. And each time you admit your truth, you lessen the fear. You lessen that charge around it. So keep, keep on doing it. And then what you choose to do from here on, it's all up to you. You have the power. Um, but what you did today was the first step to emotional freedom. So again, good for you. And I'm proud of you. So I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you have any uh, recommendations, or like if you want me to create a video um, on something that you're going through, uh, please let me know and down below in the comments and um, I'll see how I can make that happen. And so thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.